Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with yours truly, Lord of the Mad High Lord of Process Harvage of Spiffening, number 22 boxes, man, good as fact, it is 13, and all around neutral guy. Last time we encountered a group of raiders in this here bed and breakfast, was it? Something along those lines, I am not familiar with the American way of life. So, let's get some chat from here. I think that's that's an important part of you know the American way of life apparently here. So was it any did I notice this fellow already now? Uh, uh, yes. Okay, so that leaves to explore. I wonder who's marking that is is that from the outcast uh, Brotherhood members? Might be. Ooh, at least the outcasts have some good scotch. Good. And scotch. Good scotch. And where did that corpse fly? We saw the flight of this fellow last episode, which was amazing. On the basis of that flight alone. Indeed. It was surprising. To see her limbs flail exactly like that. Oh, hello. Oh, that's Raider's player. To be, f to be fair, that also looks like Raider. So I'm not sure if that is what Raiders are like for you. Ah. I think those are outcasts. Let me see if I can reason with them. Also, let me see if I can repair my flamer in case things do go to shit. Which, you know, it's very likely to happen. Hello. Are you here to let things go to shit? No. No? No. No time to talk to your type, local. Okay. Have fun. So this should be the bridge of which on the other side we should find a refu or a refu a refu a settlement anyway to which I need to deliver a thingy. <gasps> Someone's killed all the Brahmin. Oh, hello. Was it you? Could have been. Okay, so... Let's get the right keys now. It's a good thing they are... Not very... Competent when fighting alone. I don't know what they are when they hunt together there. Might be a bit more challenging. Okay, so I think I want to go on the bridge. Why am I under the bridge? Because I went around the farmhouse in hopes of finding a door. That's why. Silly underspace, you should remember your reasonings. Okay, so um, on that note, let's grab a hunting rifle again. And... You know, the hunting rifle is... A very, very reliable weapon. I should use it over there. I don't know if I have any other weapons I find as reliable. And I still feel that maybe I should focus on small weapons instead of laser weapons. Because laser weapons, you know, well, energy weapons, don't really seem to do much. Most of the time. I've discovered a refu. Did I die? Hang on, you're not one of them. I nearly blasted you in two. Get over here before they spot you. Oh, so... Okay, I didn't die. Good. Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? 
Yeah, when I have this letter for the West family. That's great, but I got bigger problems than being the town post office right now. The shit's about to hit the fan in this cesspool, and I don't think I can stop them. What kind of trouble? Well, at first they do their typical gang bullshit. You know, break stuff and make lots of noise. But they always kept their distance. But this last time they went too far. They killed all of our Brahmin. I mean, that's our life blood out here, you know. You ever take one of them out? Are you out of your mind? I drop one of them, and the rest will use me as a bullet catcher. As soon as they roll into town, I lock my doors just like everyone else. We could really use some assistance here. Well, I'm glad to help for doing it. I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. There's no telling when the family will return. Can you do me a favor and check on the other people's houses here? You know, make sure they're doing okay? Speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. Can you tell me more about what's been going on around here? There used to be more families living here. Most of them have dismantled their shacks and moved on to greener pastures. Those that are still living here are keeping themselves indoors, thanks to the family. Uh, where do you think I can find the family? I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. Problem is, they always travel in the dark, so I can't see exactly where they go. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding, like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, or Northwest Seneca Metro Station. I have a message for the West family from the daughter. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it to the West yourself. Okie dokie, I have to go now. Just watch yourself. I've got an itchy trigger finger. Also explosions. <laughs> Your residence? I suppose I was given the key then. Shenzi residence, and the supposed to vest is over that makeshift bridge. Okay. Lock on the door. Hello? Is this the mailman? Oh, I do hope my fall catalog has arrived. Uh, huh? What are you talking about? Even King sent me. Oh, Evan. He's such Evan. a gentleman. Okay. Please, do come inside. Let me unlock the door for you. This is odd. What the hell are you doing in here? Get the fuck out. Why are you being so hostile? Maybe it's because my wife has gone mental. No, wait. I think it's because some lunatics are trying to kill us. Other than that, no reason. Uh... Even King told him to check on you. Is everything okay? We're great. Just peachy. I love sitting in my house with my thumb up my ass. Tell Mr. King that sitting here all day isn't going to make us any safer. We need to take action. So what's your take on him? Well, he's town mayor or sheriff or whatever he calls himself. He calls all the shots. When he says to get the heck indoors and stay put, we do that. Can you tell me more about what's been going on around here? Everyone is keeping themselves safe from the family. If I was you, I'd do the same. You want to know more? Talk to Evan King. What do you think about the family? They're low-life scum who decided to use Arafu as their own personal amusement park. Oh, they're a fun bunch. I'd take a shot at them if I could, but judging from what they did to the Brahmin, I wouldn't live long to tell about it. You have to go now. Good. Now get out. No, I need to... Hello? You must be exhausted from all that walking in this horrible heat. Oh, and hungry too. Sit, please. Braley Ewers is the name. Don't mind my husband, Kenneth. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Evan... Evan King told to check on you. Is everything okay? Oh, he's such a dear. I must remember to make more of those preserves he loves so much. Can you tell me more about what's been going on around here? Oh my, I don't know. Mrs. West is probably whipping up a batch of her famous cookies. And all the kids are playing in the yards. 
It's so nice outside. The grass looks lovely this time of year. Uh, yes, quite lovely. Um, I've got to go. Oh, certainly. Close the front gate when you leave and mind my begonia garden. I just planted them. I want to stop in the garden. Where's the garden? I need to stomp in it. Stomp. 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 All the begonias gone. <laughs> okay, moving into here. Hello. Yes. Who is it? Uh, <laughs> from the family. Let me in. Evan King sent me. Can I come in? Oh, he did? Well, it's about damn time he did something. Come on in. I'll unlock the door. Hi. It's nice to see a friendly new face around here. It's been a long time. The name's Karen Shenzi. Uh, Evan King told me to check on you. Is everything okay? Scared out of my mind. I'm glad he's checking on us, but until someone nips the problem in the bud, we may as well stay inside forever. So what's your take on Evan King? He's a spineless wimp. His best solution to the family is to stay inside our homes and hide. What does that tell them? It tells them that we can be pushed around whenever they want. I'm sick of it. And I'm sick of King. Uh, what can, can you tell me more about what's been going on around here? We're scared shitless. Evan King's got everyone so worked up about the family, no one wants to set foot outside. That asshole runs the show. But does he really do anything about our problem? No. What do you think about the family? All they do is terrorize us. They taunt us to open our doors, throw bottles at our houses, and scream at us. If I knew King had my back, I'd step outside and show them just how I feel about their visits. Especially after this last attack. Your pupils went very weird at the point. I have to go now. Sure. Go. Just like everyone else. Hug. 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 Hug, 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 hug. Can I use your bed? No, hug, 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 hug. She needed the hug. Okay, so now we have this building. Evan King's house. Living like a king. What if it. Hey, wait. Okay, never mind, not a problem. I was just about to get in glass if what if they were to attack from the rear. <laughs> Shit happens. In real life it doesn't happen, it takes time. Oh there's a hut somewhere over there. I'm fascinated to know what's in it. <laughs> I'm not fascinated to, enough to jump off the bloody bridge there. Hello. You don't even keep your. Oh. Well, yeah. They don't keep the door locked. Huh. I can have an app there. Because corpses don't bother me. Yay. Seriously, can I? I suppose I can't do them. Let's observe my medical observations. Oh, yeah, that's that's what I just read. Due to compromise security, right? Click that. Due to. Compromised security, the passwords to the terminal that controls the Washington Monument Entry Gate has recently been changed. The new password is now Renfield Paladin Bearing Second Monument Defense Detachment. Oh, that's it. That's nice. Okay. Let's unmark this so we, you know, no, I don't, I already know what they are. 
Especially the sanitizer, not because I don't actually use the sanitizer. Never did. Oh well. Would be nice if I actually had had the chance to well, do it. Is everyone better. okay? Nope. What did they tell you? Everyone okay? Uh, did you know the vests are dead? The family must have gotten to them in the last attack. Sons of bitches. Damn it! If only we had more men, we could stand up to them. I'm sick of them terrorizing this town. Wait a minute. When you searched the West's place, did you find their son Ian's body? No, I only found the parents' bodies. This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weird old leader of theirs talking to Ian down by the river. Look, I know I've asked a lot of you already, but you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. Uh, the vests had bite marks on their bodies. Mean anything to you? Bite marks on their necks? That's the strangest thing I've ever heard. The family must have attack dogs with them or something. Oh, this is all I needed right now. What am I going to do? They'll keep coming back until all of us are dead. Uh, I have a message for the West family from the daughter. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it back to Lucy or to Ian if you can find him. Oh well, don't worry Ian. Evan, I'll try to... I'll figure out what happened to the vests. Thanks, kid. You're all right. Next time I see the family, there's going to be hell to pay. An easier solution, of course, would be to get all of you. And call this location lost. Ooh, ammunition. The system with that plan. Or idea. Anyway. Um. So what was I to do? Whoop. That works. So Ian was seen by the docks. That's probably not the end, Scops. Anything here? No. Not to get the boat either. Whom am I fighting? Oh. It's a Maya Lurk invasion! Oh. No, no, no. Fuck off. I keep having the same issue which I mentioned prior, eh? which was the fact that I keep trying to, you know, use the wrong keys for wrong things. Hmm. I should probably not have made these bastards. They're actually pretty competent. So, um, stick back this shit. There we go. Thank you, bot. Anything else? No? Okay, have fun. So, this leaves me with the opportunity to end the episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.